final video I hope my camera stopped suddenly already a quarter of an hour past. The, the, I was telling about that you can use this circuit for low frequencies and the whole issue is then it's very simple to uh, of course give the capacitor capacitors that you use a higher value so use for instance here an electrolytic positive negative here oh, positive negative and now you will see when you check it with the scope on this location connect your scope here between this point and ground minus that's here minus um, that the circuit will oscillate on a low frequency perhaps a 3 hertz 4 hertz 10 hertz don't know that but a very low frequency and that means that it is very easy to make a flickering LED circuit of course uh, in that case you have to do some experiments and, and adapt the collector resistor so not 1k because otherwise the LED will, will not light up so we have constant here um, a switching the one transistor switches the other on and it switches the other off that process happens with the uh, with a frequency set by these capacitors and these resistors but we were talking about the LED so easy flickering LED circuit is here resistor LED and here also a resistor and a LED LED positive negative positive negative and this resistor has to be adapted to the the, the current that the LED takes so a small LED here are all kinds of small LEDs this by the way is a neon tube anyway small LED, white LED, green LED yellow, orange all these LED, LEDs uh, don't need a high current they work on a few million pairs that means that the resistor can be 1k but when you have for instance a white LED this is a white jumbo LED uh, you have to do some experiments to find out the right resistor that gives out the critical current, the best current to make the LED uh, flash. And in practical that means that the resistors are between 1K and say 100 ohms. 1K, 100 ohms. That also has to do of course with the voltage. When you don't use, use here 12 volt, you use here 6 volt. Um, that LED um, needs another resistor to make it work. And of course, when you need a lot of current, say this is a BC547, this is also a BC547, it cannot handle more safely than, say, 50 milliampere or so. But when a, uh, one ampere has to flow, you have a very powerful LED. Use here, for instance, a BD139. Or use the Darlington. Or Darlington. Combined with, for instance, a 2N3055. The workhorse. The workhorse. Um, then you can send in, make the whole circuit flicker on a very powerful current. And of course you can uh, connect here uh, a string of LEDs, say 20 LEDs or, or 30 LEDs, and then surely you will need a Darlington in such a case. Darlington is uh, necessary in that case.
Well, that was more or less all to tell about that Estebal multi vibrator circuit. I hope it was not too sloppy. I hope it was a little bit easy. It is in fact an easy circuit. It's a very, very successful circuit. I can really say when you are a beginner in electronics or even a professional, it's very, very funny to do these experiments and to find the whole circuit out so that you can use it for uh, all kinds of practical applications. Driving transformers. Driving transformers via a high voltage transistor. I've made once uh, 180 volts DC power supply using a high voltage transistor. And um, with, it was made with a wall transformer and it worked very good. It worked on approximately 300 Hertz and I could even filter the signal the AC disturbing voltage out at the secondary of the transformer. That's also a small issue. Of course, you, when you have here uh, 300 Hertz out AC um, and you want to use it for a tube, for instance, there must be a filter and a, volt, a, a diode here, smoothing capacitor, but it is more easy to make a filter on 300 Hertz than on say 20 kilohertz with such a circuit. So uh, that was one uh, application and of course there are many uh, flickering LEDs, circuits, clicking relays on my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.